Hello, my name is Stella Barrow. I'm a volunteer for Greater Caddo Lake Association in Karnak, Texas. We're here at the GCLA Weevil Production Facility where we are growing salvinia weevils to help with the control of giant salvinia. My name is Darren Horton and I'm president of the Greater Caddo Lake Association of Texas. The Greater Caddo Lake Association is involved in a desperate fight to save Caddo from the most aggressive aquatic weed in the world. The reason we're growing giant salvinia weevils is because this is the only method that's ever been proven effective in controlling the plant. Our goal here is to establish the world's first mass production weevil growing facility. I'm Lee Eisenberg and I'm the director of the Morley Hudson Weevil Greenhouse. The weevil is an herbivore that feeds specifically on the salvinia plant. It doesn't feed on anything else. The larvae bore on the rhizomes, the adults feed on the buds and leaves, and together they can do a lot of damage. The Texas side of Caddo is the swampy side. It's really a beautiful side with a lot of cypress, but it's also very vulnerable to sedimentation. The salvinia not only catches a lot of dirt and silt, but it also creates a lot of dead plant material and greatly increases the rate of sedimentation. Everything you're looking at is water with salvinia and other vegetation covering it, but it, it is water, and these plants are consuming water. Some estimates are that through evapotranspiration, giant salvinia uses three times as much water as normal evaporation in a normal reservoir. So when you're talking about water needs for the next 50 years in the state of Texas, part of the conversation should be the, the amount of water that's lost to aquatic vegetation. When giant salvinia was first discovered on Caddo in 2006, the response was immediate. Working with the Caddo Lake Institute, we organized community outreach and education and trained volunteer groups to be permitted by the Texas Parks and Wildlife to remove salvinia by hand. With Caddo Lake Institute's help, we also built a two-mile giant salvinia barricade and conducted a 10-day harvester trial. During this time, the Texas Parks and Wildlife and the Cypress Valley Navigation District sprayed upwards of a million and a half dollars of herbicide on the Texas side of Caddo alone. And the salvinia is still growing by leaps and bounds. Without a successful biocontrol program, we will lose the struggle on Caddo Lake with giant salvinia. And giant salvinia will be coming to a lake near you. In 2012, we had uh, roughly six to 8,000 acres of salvinia on Caddo. The Texas side of Caddo is probably 12 to 14,000 acres in total. And so we had 50 to 60% coverage on the Texas side. And here is a plant. This is actually more than one plant, but that's called a ramet. That is, that is one viable giant salvinia plant. As long as you have that trapped on one boat trailer and it gets put in another lake, that one plant in laboratory conditions can cover 40 square miles in three months. Biocontrol has proven to work all over the world. We know it can work at Caddo Lake and other lakes in the region. It is not a quick fix. It's not glamorous or flashy. It takes a lot of hard work, but it can be done. Giant salvinia isn't going away. The longer we wait, the more the solution will cost. The local community is doing everything we can. With the help of the Caddo Lake Institute and others, we have raised the funds, built the high production giant salvinia weevil facility, and have begun production. GCLA, the Caddo Lake Institute, and others are now focused on funding the operations over the long term. Now we also concentrate on outreach and regional education with CLI's website, invasiveswatch.org. To sustain this important effort to save Caddo Lake and to prevent the migration of giant salvinia into other Texas lakes, we need your help too.